<laughs> I will yield to the gentlelady uh, from Alaska. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hoyer. For such time as she may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized without objection. Thank you, Leader Hoyer, for the very kind introduction, and most especially for your words about my predecessor, Congressman for All Alaska, Don Young. And thank you, Speaker Pelosi, Minority Leader McCarthy, and so many of my colleagues from both parties who have been very kind in welcoming, welcoming me to the House of Representatives. I'm also so grateful to have my husband, my seven children and their loved ones, two grandchildren, and two sisters here with me this week. I couldn't do this without their love and support and votes. It is the honor. <laughs> it is the honor of my life to represent Alaska, a place my elders and ancestors have called home for thousands of years, where to this day many people in my community carry forward our traditions of hunting and fishing. I am humbled and deeply honored to be the first Alaska Native elected to this body, the first woman to hold Alaska's House seat. But to be clear, I'm here to represent all Alaskans. I will work every day to make all Alaskans proud that they have entrusted me to carry their voices here. I'm excited to work with all of you to explain and take action to address Alaska's needs, just as you did with my predecessor, the Congressman for All Alaska, Don Young. Like all Alaskans, I mourned his passing. In Yupik, when we lose a, a loved one, we say, this isn't the end. Mm -hmm. Don was a true institution, an Alaskan icon, someone who fought so hard and so well for our state for 49 years. I know many of you love Don, and I am sorry for your loss too. I'm committed to securing his legacy of bipartisanship and a deep respect for this institution. In my few days in Washington, I've already begun forming friendships with colleagues on both sides of the aisle. Now, I might have a different approach than Don. You know how soft-spoken he was. <laughs> but you will still be hearing all about Alaska, our people, and our state's unique needs. I promised Alaskans I would fight for our families to lower the cost of living that is pushing too many of us to the brink, to invest in high-quality childcare and early education, and to grow Alaska's economy with good jobs that pay a fair wage. Resource development is important to Alaska's economy and our nas national energy security, and I look forward to working to ensure our state remains a global leader. I also committed to fighting for our fish. <laughs> for so many Alaskan communities, fish are life. Our fish harvest is the best in the world. Half of the wild salmon sold in the, wa in the world comes from our state, supporting good jobs that sustain strong communities. And subsistence fishing is not only an essential food source for so many Alaska families and communities, it is a sacred part of our traditions. Again, thank you for your warm welcome. We have a lot to get done, and I'm looking forward to getting to work. Buyana Chaknachbuk, that means thank you very much. And with that, I yield back. Oh, yeah.